We are here at NAB 2023 at the Frame.io booth with Adobe, where Camera to Cloud is about to go much bigger. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and B&H. Hi, Udi Tiroche with DIYphotography.net. We're here at NAB 2023, and I'm here with Michael Shioni, director for Frame.io. Michael, what's everybody's talking about camera to cloud. I know Frame.io has been leading the industry. Tell us what's new. What's new is, is, is real simple. It's what we're trying to get rid of. We're trying to get rid of these little things, right? This, this, if you think about it, this little device capturing media that has to go onto a hard drive and be shipped and downloaded is a creative blocker. And what we really want to do is connect these little shutter buttons and record buttons to photo editors, photo retouchers, and editors. And so Camera to Cloud is simply taking your photo and video assets and delivering them right to your collaborators without having to ship a hard drive. And I know that usually when people are talking Camera to Cloud, they're talking about video, and you just dropped uh, the same thing for photos. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's interesting because um, we are really excited. Fujifilm is our first photo partner with a direct integration, which means the camera actually connects to your Frame.io Adobe account. So you have total control of your uh, content in the Adobe Frame.io platform, but it's from the camera without cables. So I can even shoot a picture of our you know, story right here. We're shooting images of people here. And these images are going to go right to Frame.io behind us as we're standing here. And I can shoot RAW, I can shoot TIFF, I can shoot JPEG, I can shoot HEIF, and I can even shoot ProRes or H.265 because we're a multimedia world now. You don't, nobody just shoots one thing. There's photo, there's video, there's RAW, there's RGB, there's audio. And so Camera Cloud is about connecting all those together. That sounds like a lot of data, though. So what do you do if you're in a, in a you know, somewhere like this where, where bandwidth is limited? Yeah, you know, the bandwidth story is such an important story to this. So think about this. In the, in the early 2030s, bandwidth is going to be so strong between three technologies. One is Wi-Fi 6. Next is millimeter wavelength, which is the high band of 5G. And third is low Earth orbit satellites. Over the next seven years, those three technologies will really mature and having multiple gigabits per second of upload everywhere in the world will be very normal. So today it is early and we generally just use hotspots from your phone or Wi-Fi hotspots or modems to do uploads of proxy files. But some people are learning how to um, exploit that to start doing raw files and when you have the right Wi-Fi connection or the right hotspot, you could absolutely do JPEG and proxy files today. That's, that's normal. But you could start pushing towards RAW and ProRes in the very near future. How do all of these integrate with my editing software or you know, my calling software? How, how, how's the workflow built into that? Yeah, that's really what our program's about, integrations. And one of the newest integrations we have is with Capture One. So I can shoot these photos directly into Capture One, and so a photo retoucher could be on set, tether, or no tether, or they could be offset. Uh, or a photographer could send it to themselves to go through Capture One later. So there's so many ways for that. Um, in the video space, we have integrations with Adobe Premiere Pro, but also Resolve and Final Cut. So there are ways for other tools to shoot photo and video right through Frame.io. Think of Frame.io as like a collaboration layer. We're, we're sort of like an air traffic controller. It doesn't matter what airline you're in or what city you're coming to or going to, the air traffic controller is moving that those airlines, all those passengers. That's what Frame.io is. All these little clips, no, no matter what camera it is or what uh, tool you want to work in, Frame.io's pledge is to get your assets to whatever tool you want to work in as quickly as possible. So obviously we've seen several monitor companies uh, work in tandem with Frame.io, but having this inside of the camera is mind-blowing. What cameras are you going to bring next into this ecosystem? It's a good question. We started with Fuji and there's two of them. There's the X-H2 and the X-H2S. So you can have a 26 megapixel or 40 megapixel solution. Fuji was really advanced in thinking about the vision of making this work. So they're the first there. But our other manufacturers are interested in this. But the truth is this. 
if you don't use a Fuji, buy one. But if you <laughs> if you got an investment in other glass and other products, you need to go to those manufacturers and say, I want this workflow, because they want to hear it from customers. That's the best thing. Customers have a good voice to say, I want Camera to Cloud in the other products. Atomist today is a great solution for Canon and Panasonic and Sony and Nikon, um, but inside the camera it's very clean, it's very slick, and you really can't have any problems. Plus you can do things like high frame rate. This shoots 120p 4K, um, so you can do ultra slow motion, um, and things like that are not always available on external recorders. So the integration inside is the best, but we have solutions with Teradek, Atomus and Filmic Pro for iPhone and Android. So there are solutions for pretty much every camera out there, but the Fuji is best in class. Okay, so hey, Nikon, Canon, Sony, if you're listening, we're, we're rooting for those guys, bring it in. Michael, amazing technology. Um, how much would it cost me to implement this in my workflow and where can I get it? Well, the beauty is if you already have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, you can go into Premiere Pro and you already have a Frame.io account included in that. I think it has a bunch of gigabytes available. It's already included with Premiere Pro. You just go to Window, Review with Frame, and you'll launch the Frame.io panel, and you can sign in with your Adobe credentials. If you don't have a Creative uh, Cloud account, you can go to frame.io slash pricing. Our lowest tier is $15 a month, and it goes up from there based on how much storage and how many users you need. And here's a pro tip with Frame.io. If you are a, a, a small department of people, we only charge for people that are uploaders. So you can share it with as many people as you want. The content in terms of review is available, uh, but your, your, really your paid seats of users are really for the people that are going to be uploading. People shooting cameras or audio or uploading rough cuts to Frame.io. That's what you're paying for, but you can share it with as many people as you want. Michael, amazing technology. I'm sure that this is where the world is going to. It's happy to see this coming to life. I'm Uri Tirosh with DIYphotography.net. We're going to keep working the flow here at NAB 2023. Stick around.